Ralph, you're up next, buddy. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Fantastic. So my question, I've been doing like self-hypnosis and now I'm more comfortable being social. Okay. And when I talk to gals, uh, give enough time, they do open up to me and they share stuff. They show a sense of vulnerability. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I'm more like a therapist and I don't really bring out or trigger any sense of sexuality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's probably something I like to work on in terms of approaching or talking, spending time with women in general. Well, it's because you're, you're, you're basically putting yourself in the friend zone. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. how are you meeting these girls? I just walking here, there, everywhere, like in town, like I'm go do some errands and I say hi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a couple things. Um, one, you want to go ahead and, and try to like not be, you know, you need to make your intent clear, mm -hmm. right? So where are you, can you break the, down these conversations and where the girls are like, you know, um, putting you more in the friend zone category? So it's just daily life, mostly. I could mm -hmm. go out do errands. But when I sit down with them, mm -hmm. it's, hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. How are you? And you go through all the small talk and things. Mm -hmm. And then we share interests. We share likes. And through the conversation, they they just share something. Not in a the most vulnerable way. I mean, it is like 15, 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. But they, they share things and be like, oh, man, I just can't believe I told you, told someone this face. Mm -hmm. They saw a sense of relief, like I had to share it. But I'm not exuding any sense of sexuality mm -hmm. like, at all. Yeah, but it's just, mostly it's just a, Hi, how are you? We get talking small talks. Uh, we share or try to find what they like, and we share, try to find some common interest. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I've been practicing in conversations is that I ask two questions, and then the third one I try to, what is it called in English? I try to give a relation after the two questions. Mm -hmm. so like, How are you? I'm well, thank you. Do you like to paint? Oh, yes, I love to paint. And then I go, oh, man, I wish I got into painting. It seems so freeing. Mm -hmm. So that's like a conversation method that I'm So where, where do the conversations end up going? Just nice to meet you. Bye. And over how long? Uh, 15, 30 minutes. And how many girls have nice to meet you by? Uh, I would say on average, maybe 50, 60 percent of the okay. time. So two parts. One part is typically when doing cold approach, you're, you're going to have success one out of a hundred at a beginner level. Okay. Hi. So the, the most important thing is that you're actually doing the cold approach. Second thing is this, um, I'm going to be honest with you, the way you speak and communicate comes off feminine and it, you know, you, you might, they might interpret you as being a gay guy. Yeah. Okay. That's why they feel you're like a non-sexual threat. So they open up to you because when a girl really likes you to a degree, they're embarrassed to talk about themselves and tell the truth about themselves. Cause they're afraid that you might get rejected by them mm. or, or excuse me, that she might get rejected by you. Excuse me. Okay. Yes. So, um, another thing is this too, right? I think a simple, I think a simple way for you to filter these out, this is, this is more of a beginner technique, but yep. when you're having a conversation with them, you know, kind of bring it up if they have a boyfriend or not, but in a casual way. But, you know, trying this like surface level, surface level conversation and, you know, 
trying too hard to relate to them is supplicating and falling into their frame and you're Go you're ahead. falling into the pleaser frame right I, mm -hmm. like when a girl tells me something that i don't like I'm, I'm just open with it i'm like oh that i really don't like that because <laughs> you, <know? laughs> <laughs> you gotta because if you're fake one you're, you're not you can't keep that up forever the real you is going to come out eventually and two if you put out a fake you you're gonna you're not gonna attract what you really want yes you know you got to be attracting what you want by being real and authentic you know understood the biggest thing is you got to fix your voice and be more masculine because i know you're raised by a single mom so that has a that has a tendency to kind of you know make guys a little bit more feminine so it's up to you to be a little bit i would t i would work on speaking more in a deeper voice because you have it and the way you speak is kind of feminine so they'll be like, okay, this is guy's a gay guy. And so that's why they'll they'll kind of they'll assume most likely. Because you do have a pretty feminine way of speaking. I uh, so tone in pitch. Learn to speak from your diaphragm. A lot of people speak from their throat. You want to learn to speak from your stomach. Learn to speak from my stomach. Hang on. Yeah. And then this is gonna take some time for you to like, you know, practice. But that's you know something I would work on as well. Okay. Is there any anything else? So yeah, and pitch. King, King Drake kind of doubled down on what I had said. He says, "Being fake is. I wish I got into painting. No, you didn't. Stop being fake." <laughs> that, that was just a hypothetical. I'm not so sure on like the name of the technique, but it's yeah. Try to still, cause relation don't, don't, to. Be, don't be fake because they're women are smart. They'll pick up on it. I, you know, they ain't no dummies. Mm -hmm. Um, that's basically it. But listen, props to you for making the cold approach and getting them to sit down. That's half the battle. But again, mm -hmm. a simple, a simple technique. This is this is to get you through the beginner level. When you get more advanced, there's ways to do this. But I would bring it up in the conversation. Ask if they have a boyfriend or not. You know, relatively soon. That way you could just make your intent known. But yeah, because the thing is you're being like, you know, you're, you're being manipulative to a degree. You're like, you're, you are sexually interested, but you're pretending you're not. And women hate that. Shit. You're being a nice guy, basically. And how do, how do you do sexuality? Just be open with the sexuality. Mm, no, not really. But you know, it's just how you communicate. So to a degree, shut up and take my money. Uh, to a degree, it's how you dress, it's how you talk, mm -hmm. it's how you carry yourself, right? Right. You got to dress and look like a guy who is out here to get some girls. You know. Mm -hmm. You have to have. You have to have. You have to sexualize the way you look to a degree. You know. Uh -huh. You have to have an edge. But if you don't, right. if you look like an innocent little schoolboy and you talk the way you talk. Then women are going to just be like, oh, this is just a nice friend. Mm. I understand. I understand. Yeah, I, I get it. Mm -hmm. it's, um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's uh, funny. King Dre is literally saying the exact same thing you just said. Either fix his voice or make his appearance way more edgy. Yeah, you see? Like when, when women see me, like there's this girl I dated and she was talking about me to one of her girlfriends, right? And it was a text message they had between the two of them. And she was like, oh, I'm dating this. I went out with this Danish guy, but I didn't even know if he liked me or not. It was kind of like friends of vibe. And she was like, what about her friend was like, what about Jonathan? She's like, I felt the sexual tension as soon as he sat down. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and then I slept with her on the first date, you know? So you got to just let him know, like, I am not here to be your friend. I, I do not want friends. I have friends. I am here because I am interested in you in a romantic way. Thanks. Okay. All right. I'll go I'll go work on it. Like with with, with the voice thing. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I know like naturally when I just talk, it is a lot higher and a lot softer. Mm -hmm. And to be able to lack of words to compensate or to combat like mm -hmm. it, because, because like 
because I, I hear hear it myself and it's it's just so high and it's it's just mm -hmm. yeah because because I want to be the person where I, I just exude like yep that dude mm -hmm. yeah hmm. it's just gonna take time I right. you're making progress you know thank you you're doing a good job so just keep rocking we'll keep do. at it we'll do thank you good to hear from you.